Hi, it's Adam with Desert Greens Equipment. Today we're going to take a look at the back end of a subcompact tractor here. Whenever we take a backhoe on and off or maybe a collection system on and off, uh, we often have our three-point hitch pieces kind of laying around. So we're just going to show you how to put those things back on, make it nice and easy for you. So you can see here we just have some parts kind of going on. First thing that we can look at is just the top link. That's our easiest piece there. We do have a nut that's kind of a stop for the top of the top link. That'll always just tell us what piece is gonna go away from the tractor. Uh, so here we can see on the back of the tractor, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place our top link right here in the middle. We're gonna have a pin uh, that's gonna have a flat side to it. And here in the casting on the back end, you're gonna see that pin is gonna have a place for itself to rest so that it doesn't twist and turn. So we can take, put our top link in, and put that pin on through. We're gonna have ourselves a top link hook that we're gonna be able to connect in there. We have our winch pin here that we're just gonna connect that in. And we've got one of our three pieces done right there. Now the other two pieces look very similar. So sometimes I can grab these out. And then you're gonna say to yourself, which one goes where? Uh, so for us, whenever we're looking at our down link here, we have one of them that's gonna be threaded. So that particular side is gonna go on our right hand side uh, whenever we put this, this particular link onto the machine. So here we're gonna have ourselves a sway link, we're gonna have ourselves a turnbuckle. And now again, the threaded side is gonna start off on our right hand side for us. So we're gonna come on down this direction. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this pin. So I'm always gonna start here to the interior of the frame near the PTO whenever I start putting these on. So we're going to uh, raise our PTO shield. We're gonna go ahead and slide that in. We're gonna take and we're gonna pin that sucker in so it stays in. So I still have myself two more connections that we've gotta to get to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to hang the down link here. We're gonna pull that on up. We're gonna take a pin, push it on through. So right here is just gonna be that little push pin. It's only gonna go in one way. Last thing here is that we're just gonna have our little turnbuckle sitting out here. So our turnbuckle, we kind of have a little bend to it. The side that's kind of bending in towards it. We're just gonna have a uh, space that's gonna go right there towards the outside of the frame of the tractor. And we're gonna use another link pin there. We're gonna lock that one in. So we got two components in. So now we see here that we have this down link here is just a solid shaft, All right? So that's gonna go over to our left-hand side. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this pin out. Do the same thing. We're gonna start from the inside first, inside of the frame. PTO shaft, the PTO shield is up. Next in. We'll start back from the top here in our step two. Lock that one in. All we've got is just our little turnbuckle again. Can fit on the outside there. Now we have ourselves a usable three-point hitch. So you might have to adjust. Right, our threaded link a little bit to make sure that we're even, but otherwise we're ready to go back and connect up to an implement. If you have any questions on this process, feel free to contact us or find us online at desertgreensequipment.com. Have a good day.